Hi people, it's Killer J here. We're back in today's review is Quake 2, so we're gonna get into the action of this awesome first person shooter, so let's get into it. So Quake 2 was developed by id Software, very iconic gaming company for first person shooters and the like. So yeah, id Software, id Software. And for the uh, Omega OS version is Hyperion Entertainment for the N64 version is Raster Productions and for the PS I guess in the PS1 version, uh, Hammerhead and various for Linux. Okay. And publisher Activision and for GOG release is Bethesda. So. Quake 2 was on a wide variety of consoles, a wide variety of consoles, I believe. And this wanted to, this game I wanted to play for quite some time as I I heard about it, having it, having it, you get Quake 4, you get this game with the bonus disc, which is the bonus disc is Quake 2, by the way, for for people that know it there. Uh, Quake 2 is a very fun game, and just very awesome, just the, the blood and guts and all the gore and brutality is pretty good in this game. I like that. It's always fun, so Quake 2 is a good game indeed. And also released on PC, Omega OS X, Classic Mac OS X, N64. PlayStation 1, Linux, Xbox 360, and Zebo. And genre is first person shooter and first person shooter and mode is single player multiplayer. But Quake 2 is a very fun game. I just like this game. I like this game because it's graphics on the 360 version. That's because I like it, it's very good. I actually like the graphics, it's very good for this game. You know, for the 360 they're pretty good. I just like the the details when you shoot an enemy, you can shoot in a million pieces, which is pretty good. And you got a wide variety of weapon selection, which is always good to have in a quick game. And in software, they knew how to make, they know how to make first run shooters. Very good job with their first run shooters. This one is no exception there because this one is awesome. is an awesome game, and it's a classic game indeed for sure. So. Quake 2 is the be one of the best games there, so. Yeah. Quake 2 takes place in a science fiction environment. In the single player game, the player assumes the role of a marine named Biderman, taking part in Operation Alien Overlord, desperate attempt to prevent an alien invasion of Earth. By launching a counterattack against the home planet, hostile, strong civilization. Basically, a guy kicking some ass. That's what there is. Quake there. Quake is always fun game. You know what I mean? I just like the shotguns, the machine guns, even the chain gun is pretty good too. I like all like all the environments and details. The environments look very good for this game. Even the enemies look good for this game as well. They look very nicely detailed there for what they are on the Xbox 360. So yes, this is Killer J here on Metro Long Gamers. And Quake 2 is a classic game. You know, it is a classic game for sure, so. And I just wanted to say out there, you know, the gameplay in this game is very good. It's very fun first person shooter esque gameplay. Very fluent and very good, so. And graphics are very good too, so. The you know, graphics are very good for the Xbox 360 version of this game. Very good, nicely crisp, nice detail. Very good detail in the characters and stuff like that, explosions, but Quake 2, you know, is a very fun one. It's very fun. I just enjoy playing. I just enjoy playing this game overall. Just like everything about it was pretty good. It just harkens back to a time where, you know, where, you know, where first version shooters were getting their legs up and you know, just uh, getting started with uh, consoles and all that. Because I like this genre, because I like Quake. I have not reviewed Quake 2 at all. You know what I mean? I, I'm reviewing it now because I I, show, I I like the appreciation what the developers did with this game. They did a very good job and have appreciating, appreciating the game more. I enjoy it a lot. It's very fun, so. You know what I mean? It's a fun game, just, you know. A blast of play, just shooting the enemies in the face and out there, and just doing good stuff and blowing up enemies bit bits by bits. You know, seeing all the gory details is pretty good. So, 
and the weapons are very insane too. So the chain guns, everything. So just like there's health power ups in there too. So yeah, it's always a given. Any classic first person shooters gonna be health power ups because it's always good to have that. And there's also a wide variety of weapons you can use: a chain gun, a machine gun, shotgun, uh, rocket launcher, grenade launcher, bunch of other weapons you can use in this game. Even grenades and all that. Even a pistol and all that. It's a whole bunch of stuff there. Quake is fun, you know. This game is just good old fun there. Just good old fun and have stuff like that there. What else can I say about the game, you know? If you see Quake 4, ask for the Quake 2, ask for the Quake 4 bonus disc because this game comes with Quake 4, the original version of Quake 4 because there was a version of Quake 4 that was re-released, re but it did not include the Quake 4 bonus disc, which sucks ass. It only included like a Quake 4 poster, so. But you didn't get Quake 2, but if you can find Quake 2, if you can find Quake 4 and Quake uh, the Quake 4 bonus disc, yeah, go snag it up there, snag it up if you can there. Get get yourself to play this gaming feast because this game. You have you owe it to yourself to play this game, so this is a very good game indeed. It's very awesome, very badass, and fucking amazing there. So, fucking amazing first-person shooter. That's what it is. So, yeah. Anyway, besides the point, I want to get on to the, anything else. I would like to say uh, right now for this game where I'm standing right now, what the rating it, the verdict is, I give it. 10 quakes out of 10. So, yes. 10 guns out of 10. So, that's it. And this is Killer J. I want to say thank you for watching my Quake 2 review. I had fun reviewing this game as this game is a blast to review. And I just enjoyed this game a lot. It's very fun. So, Crop Next Wipeout Omega Collection. So, so that one's going to be the next one. For the PS4. So, Anyway, Quake 4, not Quake 4, Quake 2, yes, I did Quake 2, you know, Quake 2, play it. Play that game. Play this game, you know. You'll wait to yourself to at least play it, there because it's awesome. So, anyway, this is Killer J here from Retro Modern Gamers. And Retro Modern Gamers will see you guys in the next video game review, and that review will be Wipeout Omega Collection for PlayStation 4. The cup next, I got some more surprises coming up. I got some bunch of other stuff included, and, uh, yep. So, uh, yes, it's Killer J here. want to say thank you to all the RetroMon Gamer fans out there. Thank you to all you people, you wonderful people, and people that helped help me out. Thank you to every single one of you. You did a very good job what you did there. It's pretty good. I appreciate it a whole lot. And, yes, see you guys next time, and, uh, Enjoy Quake 2 and enjoy other first person shooter classics out there. Enjoy the old school first person shooters because they did a lot, they did a lot for their time and that, if it wasn't for those games, Call of Duty would not exist. So, you know, the hats off to the It Software for making a very, like, making very good first person shooter games. And uh, for you else, making Duke Nukem, so. Anyway, it's Killer J, and see you guys later for the next review. My boat Omega Collection for PlayStation 4. Later, peace, goodbye. Later.